All right, today we're going to be doing something slightly different. In the Kestrel and the Siren videos, I refer to each of them as a pattern. This is how I classify my naval ships in the military, at least for the Farron Collective, of which the Duchy of Clement is a part of. So this is a Kestrel, pa Kestrel 2 pattern frigate. Same overall hull and interior, it's just that I've changed up the armaments almost completely. Where there was two Type 2 coil guns and a Type 2 particle beam cannon, there is now two Type 1 particle beam cannons. As well as, instead of heavy particle cannons and heavy mass driver point defense, I've got light variants of each. Each barrel of both the particle cannon and the mass driver or coil gun fires slightly faster than the heavy variant with a either offset or simultaneous firing modes for both particle beam and mass driver can output more volumes of not as heavy fire to ward off torpedoes and boarding craft. Starfighters, I feel, don't have a place in naval and space combat in my setting, my universe, so they don't exist. Um, anyway, the mass driver can fire specialty payloads. One such is like the one that helps deflect laser and maser strikes and somewhat attenuates particle beam strikes. Do a whole lot against mass driver or torps, but that's what you can't really do a whole lot against um, mass driver. Slot. The frigate has 13 light batter C particle beam point defense cannons, four up top, four down below in the middle, as well as four aft pointing rearward, as well as one on the dorsal or top side hull pointing forward. She also has three mass driver light Battersea cannons. No, not three, five. Two up top, two down below in the mid section, and one down below facing forward here. Again, because it's the same general hull design, the frigate has a single docked Type 27 dropship. She also has a set of four longbow torpedo cartridge tubes. The interior is identical to the Kestrel 2, with the exception of forward on the weapons deck, there is the forward magazine storage area, which standard armament has one full reload forward. Moving all the way to the back, there is another full reload aft. And then in the middle is the actual area. It's hard to see in the dark, but it is similar to the Siren pattern cruiser in its general feel. Instead of having the capacitors and kinetic projectile magazines, the Kestrel Pattern Frigate only has four partitioned tanks for the particle cannons as the ship only carries particle cannon. That's it for the entirety of the frigate pattern. The general idea is point defense platform, escort type ship, and a, to a minor extent, lesser extent, uh, forward scouting. Hence why she isn't only particle cannon or point defense cannons, but has some ship to ship grade weaponry. I have also made a destroyer pattern Kestrel 2. In this case, the point defense situation is identical to the Kestrel 2 cruiser, just six cannons overall, two of which are heavy mass drivers, but she also has along her spine in the weapons deck, zero capital ship grade weapons. Instead, she is dedicated completely to the dispersion of torpedoes, with a whole 32 longbow cartridge uh, tubes. I didn't really show it off on either the frigate, which is kind of back there hiding, or on this, while well, I'm showing it to you now, but doesn't have the cruiser style poking out the side of the ship torpedo slots, they're just they're all vertical. The interior is again completely identical with the exception of the torpedo deck. Well, the weapons deck, in this case it's all torpedo, 
there's an all of the torpedo storage is down in what once was the partitions for ammo and energy for the cruiser and just ammo for the frigate where torpedo storage used to be being set aside for the torpedo launching system up front we have three segments of four and in the back we have one segment of four kind of set it around a light that's literally why they are patterned the way they are and in the middle we've got a whole bunch of torpedoes the red torpedoes are atomic compression one kiloton charge standard haymaker torpedoes four torpedoes to a cartridge these white ones are what are called immobilizer torpedoes again for torpedoes and a cartridge but these are nuclear bombs not atomic compression i don't i can't remember off the top of my head what type of nuke they are whether it's fission or fusion but the nuclear bomb is designed in such a way to release as much electromagnetic radiation as possible detonate this near a ship and all internal systems go offline it is a way to save the crew of a ship but really kill the ship it's kind of hard to replace every single or it's kind of expensive to replace every single internal electronic device all the communication sensors all of it would have to be replaced these black tubes are similar nuclear bombs for torpedoes but these are called unraveler torpedoes because that's what they do they unravel the genetics genetic code of living creatures they detonate in such a manner as to release maximum neutron yield these are neutron bombs and what that does is well, most ships have some radiation shielding, capable of shielding the radiation of space and the neutron bombardment that is a part of that. However, without having absurdly heavy amounts of armor, the crew is susceptible to a sudden burst of a lot of neutrons. So these are used to kill the crew of a craft, but retain the craft. The cruisers and the frigates are not rated to... The officers aren't rated to launch uh, immobilizers. One of the notable exceptions to the rule of no changing is this here door. And this door. These haven't been changed. So what these doors allow for is the easy admittance of more torpedo cartridges. You see, most torpedo cartridges, the empty ones, and the reloaded cartridges are just raised and lowered through the torpedo tubes. It's rather a slow way to go about it, but it is the easiest way for most ships. However, with the sheer amount of torpedoes that the destroyer variant carries, the ship designers at the Clementian Shipworks decided it was a good idea to facilitate the loading of the tubes through the cargo bay. That concludes the build showcase of both the Kestrel Pattern Frigate and the Kestrel Pattern Destroyer, as well as the Kestrel family of ships as a whole. If you have made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me.